After a hiring boom during the pandemic, Google's parent company, Alphabet, is the latest tech giant to announce massive layoffs. The company says it will be cutting 12,000 jobs worldwide. Google CEO sent out a memo to employees stating that the layoffs will happen immediately in the U.S. Google joins tech giants like Meta, Twitter, Salesforce, and Amazon that have already cut more than 190,000 jobs since last year. Meanwhile, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis appears to be stepping up his campaign against what he calls woke ideology. We reject this woke ideology. We will never surrender to the woke mob. Florida is where woke goes to die. Now on Florida's ban list, a new band list, a new high school advanced placement course on African American history. Florida's Department of Education says the course is, quote, contrary to Florida law and significantly lacks educational value. The department did not say which law the course violates, but last year, DeSantis did sign the so-called Stop Woke Act, which restricts how race is taught in Florida schools. And joining me now is Reverend Dr. Starsky Wilson. He's president and CEO of the Children's Defense Fund. Thanks for being here, Reverend. Wilson, I want to point out that a Florida Democratic state senator tweeted in response to this action, quote, it's crazy AP African American studies got cut considering classes like European history and Japanese language and culture are being taught in Florida. I wonder what your reaction is to this. Well, thank you very much for covering this story. Uh, it's important uh, that we lift up a light on those who are trying uh, uh, to take African American history out of our schools. And in this case, uh, trying to keep it from being affirmed uh, as a course of study for young people heading into higher education. Um, our response, frankly, uh, first and foremost uh, to the governor, uh, is to say that his education department um, is lacking the kind of credibility and assessment uh, uh, that's been happening for over a decade for this AP course, so uh, they're just inaccurate in that. And number two, we're critically um, uh, engaged in uh, kind of pushing back, uh, because what we know uh, is that students who have culturally relevant pedagogies, have access to accurate history, uh, have a better understanding of society, and frankly, are better citizens to be engaged uh, in the franchise of democracy. So uh, what he's doing is anti-democratic, of course, and is anti-education, and clearly discriminatory when it comes to black and brown students, here, in this case, black students specifically in the state of Florida. And you talked about students becoming good citizens, good, good citizens. I wonder how important is it, do you think, for students to be learning this history, but also for the adults that they become, the professionals, whether they're going to be lawyers or doctors, that they learn this history? That's absolutely important, and, and this is what the uh, the AP is saying, uh, that this is uh, so critical that students across the country not only need access to uh, African-American studies and African-American history, um, but they need an opportunity to engage in deep thought and reflection as they prepare uh, for higher education in this, that we need specialized studies as we do in other areas. Uh, this is something that uh, educators have continued to affirm. It's uh, some, one of the things that has informed our work in 29 states across the country through Children's Defense Fund's Freedom Schools, uh, trying to teach K-12 K through 12 students uh, about their history, about the notions of the country, and about their social agency. Um, but also, of course, uh, critically important for all adults to have an understanding and appreciation of their fellow citizens, neighbors, where they come from, uh, and, uh, and it allows us to relate to one another in a multicultural, multiracial community uh, that is our nation. Um, and as someone who's deeply interested in leading this nation, uh, I find it appalling that Governor DeSantis uh, is keeping a segment of this population's uh, history from being taught in our schools. And a quick follow-up question, and I want to point out that 28 presidents of colleges and community colleges um, announced that they would be seeking to eliminate policies and academic programs that they see as forcing students to learn about critical race theory. I wonder what you make of that action, the precedent it could set, especially as Republicans are using the word woke as a way to stop people from learning about race. 
Yeah, I think you make a great point. Number one, that this is a part of a national movement and conversation that uh, Ron DeSantis, in the interest of his presidential ambitions, is jumping in front of. Uh, it's challenging um, that we saw uh, legislation in the Texas session in 2021, Ohio session in 2021, that we also needed to push back against as it sought to engage in revisionist history uh, to take honest yeah. education for students out. Um, what we find here, frankly, is just an attempt to teach accurate history. It's not even critical race theory. And as much as culturally relevant pedagogy is important, um, what they're actually pushing back against is just honest and accurate historical study that's been validated by historians themselves. Uh, yeah. This is a, 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 this thwarts our opportunity to live in a thriving uh, multiracial democracy. Well, thank you so much, Reverend Dr. Wilson.